Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're talking about healthier choices management, ticket symbol HCMC. So today we have something really interesting to talk about that I do want to cover first, and it's with the possible next move for HCMC, whether it's acquisition, whether it's a merger, or whatever it is. Do you want to talk about it? Hear your opinions on it. I also want to talk about the positive kind of um, mindset for HCMC right now. You can see on stock tweets and other forums right now, there are more positive, um, you know, kind of comments nowadays, and talk about how that is going to affect the upcoming catalyst which how that will help boost the price hcmc or maybe not boost the price so let's i want to talk all about that as always guys show support for hcmc by smashing that like button down below without any further ado let's get straight into the video so what it is is this was made by a, um, a tweet from otc boss we talked about him you know sometimes on this channel essentially he's someone who's very obviously convicted in hmc he's active in this community and what he says is that he gives out two things so he is saying here he's connecting the dots so hmc knows getting health slash wealthness assets brings big revenue eir hydration which is a recent acquisition if you don't know about this yet check out my recent videos it's something that is quite big for hmc but it's located inside truth beauty spa and tbs has mentioned eir hydration as one of their entity so could it be possible that TBS is being rebranded as a healthier choices wellness centers? So then we go down and you kind of find explain more why HMC wants to do this. So HMC established that healthier choices, health wellness centers, aka spas, equals smart business move. Spa industry revenue alone projected to be 128 billion next year, with the health plus wellness industry revenue equals 639 billion last year, growing two times the rate of tourism. And so essentially he's saying that because obviously this is a big thing, this is what HTMC wants to get into, this could be their next possible move. Now, obviously this is still speculation, you know, one thing I do want to talk about is that obviously they talked about, announced that in the first step towards expansion into the health and wellness, wellness segment. So, you know, it is true that HTMC wants to do more because you guys can see here in the word first step. So if you're taking the first step, you're obviously going to take multiple steps afterwards. And so... You know, there's definitely going to be more plays coming on for HCMC. You know, whether that's again like like this, um, like OTC boss said, whether to go into you know TBS or other things, but we don't know. But one thing's for sure is that they definitely want to expand more. They've obviously talked about how they want to expand. You know, the IV therapy as well as you guys can see here she will also oversee expansion of this business but yeah there's been multiple hints firstly saying that they are you know doing more expansion into the health and wellness segment but also more you know um in fact they literally confirmed they're here saying oversee expansion of this business so you know they gave out multiple kind of hints and clues and just signals that they want to expand this so this could be the next possible move and if this is it obviously will be huge because like um otc boss has said if you are able to get into the spa industry if you are able to get into the health and wellness industry you know you're exposed to a lot of revenue now you're obviously not going to get 100 percent of the revenue but even if it's one percent even if 0.1 percent that is still huge for hmc and you know the fact that it's such a big um you know revenue industry means that you're able to obviously have a lot more growth from that and any growth for hmc will be really good right now that's why it's important. That's why I do want to talk about it. I thought it was very interesting. Leave a comment down below if you guys think that this is going to be the next move. Or what do you guys think is going to be the next move in terms of moving on in the expansion into the health and wellness segment. But also talk about how do you think they are going to expand this particular business of IV therapy. So that is the first thing I'm talking about. I thought that was quite interesting. Drop a comment down below. As always, none of this is financial advice. Do take off, say, grain of salt. Make sure to do your own due diligence and research. But let's talk about something else. Let's talk about the positive signals and how that's going to affect the upcoming catalyst for HMC. Firstly, let's talk about what's the upcoming catalyst. If you guys don't know, I've mentioned this multiple times, so everyone should know by now. But if you don't know, on the 21st of December, we are supposed to get a reply from the PTAB, which is confirmed. We have to get it on the 21st or before that. What they are going to say is that whether or not they're going to institute a review on the pattern for HMC to review whether it's valid or invalid. What that is doing is that if the pattern is valid, then the law case will go on. If the pattern is invalid, then the whole you know lawsuit will just be over. Now, firstly, that is if they were to do institute a review. If they don't, then the lawsuit will still continue. Right now, you know everything has um been waiting on this moment. We have seen investors leave because of this review, so we do want to see you know what they reply. So that is the first catalyst. Second catalyst is that we are likely to get a reply from the judge talking about you know the 
whole motion whether or not it's going to continue or not again that is the final deciding factor of the whole lawsuit so that is the two big catalysts one's potential one is confirmed so let's talk about why the positive signal will affect that well firstly we have been seeing you know the volumes has picked up as you guys can see here buying has picked up now we still ended you know at 0 0.005 so you know whilst we are seeing green we are not seeing a change in price what you can see though, however, is that if you're on Reddit, if you're on YouTube, if you're on stock tweets or whatever it is that has a forum of HMC, you are likely to see that kind of the momentum, the sentiment of HMC has changed. You know, if we backtrack just three, four, five, six, even seven days ago, you know, it was very negative. There was a lot of comments, but now more and more people are bullish. More and more people are saying that they are buying into shares, which again is in a very possible because again, we are seeing the volume picking up. And so that has changed the whole sentiment. And again, this is very normal because we pretty much wanted any catalyst on HMC and that would obviously give us a signal of if HMC is actually doing things or not. And so this was a good signal, like I've said multiple times. How, what this is going to do is that obviously this is bringing more positive um, you know, mindset into HMC. This is obviously giving more confidence. So when we do see the review, so let's talk about the PTAB review first. When we do see the PTAB review, you know, if it were to get rejected, if the PTAB isn't going to institute a review, then we are originally, I said we are going to see 20% of the investors that originally left to come back. I do feel like that right now with this positive signal, we are going to see more, you know, we are closing into that 30 or even 40% of the investors that's originally left because of the fact right now, you're not only buying into a company that has this lawsuit, that has this speculation, but a company that is actually growing, that's actually expanding and showing the strategy. And so that is the first thing. And that is how important that is. Because again, psychology in stocks is always super important. When you understand if people are going to buy at what level, if people are going to buy at that level, you will understand if a stock is going to go up or not. I hope everyone understands that. Now, on to the second catalyst, which again is the reply from the judge. Again, this is not confirmed. It's just that there is statistics showing that it is likely. However, it is not confirmed. But if this were to happen, you know, already, even before we saw a positive signal, even before we saw the acquisition, whether or not, you know, when the judge replied, we were going to get a big reaction. If the judge replies, okay, you guys continue, we are going to see very positive news. If the judge says, okay, you will not continue, then obviously we'll see a big sell-off, which could potentially, you know, even see HMC drop to 0 0.001. I doubt that is possible because there are a lot of people unwilling, you know, to sell. So even if we saw a negative news like that, it will probably be kept at 0 0.002. But obviously there is chances of it hitting 0 0.001 if the lawsuit were to be over. Now, that is highly unlikely, you know, from the perspective of George and Social, which is a lawyer, other people, even I've reviewed it, but what HTMC has submitted is a fairly strong argument. You know, again, the reason why I say fairly strong is that at the end of the day, it comes down to the judge. You can't understand what the judge is thinking, but from what we can see, it has changed really, you know, differently from the last ones before and show a much stronger argument and kind of whole case this time. And so with that, it's likely that it's going to continue. Now, if it were to continue, if the judge were to reply saying that, you know, we are continuing, then obviously we are going to see more people because that is positive. A lot of people are worried that right now, you know, one of the reasons why they are seeing big selling is people are worried for HMC thinking that the whole lawsuit is going to be over. So they are shedding some of their you know, shares to kind of minimize their loss. But if we were to see the share continue, we are back to square one. We are back to that even ground footing. Right now, you can see it, you know, in terms of the lawsuit, if the lawsuit were to continue, I do think that we have a higher chance of winning. But in terms of right now, just looking at it, I feel like a lot more people think that in the loss, uh, HMC is on the lower side, that they are likely to lose rather than win. And so because of that, you know, we want to see something like that. And so if we can see something you know, that says continue, that says we are back to square one, we're definitely going to see more buyers as well coming back. But again, with the fact that there is now a positive signal, now seeing the expansion of HMC, you're not only buying into this because of the speculation of the lawsuit, you're also buying into this because this company, firstly, of course, the speculation, I'm not saying that we are forgetting that, I'm saying that along with the speculation, we obviously have understanding of the company's growth, the company's expansion. And so that's extremely important for HMC. And so that's why, you know, right now, we are going to likely to see a bigger effect, a bigger momentum for HMC than we were originally because of this acquisition. Now, in between now and, you know, December 21st, or even the judge's reply, again, the judge's reply is the bigger catalyst out of the two. But in the time between now and then, if we were to see more moves from HMC, whether that's acquisition, whether that's more announcements or whatnot, you know, 
the, anything that helps and signals the growth of the company will give a bigger momentum when a huge catalyst happens that is regarding to the lawsuit. Anyway, guys, that's it for the video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys did, make sure to press that like and subscribe button down below. Comment down below what you guys think about HMC and comment down below what you guys want to see next. I'm that. Enjoy your day.